Well, it's not a free for all. There are still some permanent restrictions in place, but starting next month, local districts will be setting their own conservation goals. One of California's most precious resources will no longer be under the state's thumb when it comes to conservation. So rather than having a top-down single conservation standard for each water district, we're asking them, give us your plan to ensure water for your customers for the next three years. Tuesday, the State Water Resources Control Board spent six hours deciding to drop the required statewide conservation mandate, allowing more than 400 water districts to set their own conservation goals. So we're pretty confident that they're going to comply. They know how precious water is. Some neighbors say they'll continue their strict routines. Hey, it's where we live, right? We live in a drought area. There's not a lot of water. You know, it's not like Florida or something like that. So we you know, we have to be prudent in how we use our water and use our natural resources. Others want to keep the mandate in place. I think that's going to be a problem, to be honest. I mean, lots of people have got used to this, but uh, once sometimes the restrictions are done, you go back to your old fashioned ways or what's easier for you. Although the water board has eased restrictions, there's still some things you can't do, like water your lawn in a manner that creates runoff. The water districts must have enough water to get by if there's another three year drought and must report monthly data to the water board. I kind of liked it the way it was because you were trying to remember not let things flow over. Now, if water saving efforts dramatically slip or there's not impactful rain or snow uh, next winter, we could be back on stricter regulations. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.